And welcome back, everyone, to its last call. Last call that the alcohol only on. It is the last call YouTube channel. Joining me here, this young man is going to be fighting once again. It'll be September 5th only on PBC on Fox. Well, he was supposed to fight a while back, but well, COVID had put Ixney on certain things. He's now going to be fighting in a super middleweight bout, and he hopes that this starts to kick off the rest of 2021 and 2022 going strong. I give you, along with his advisor, manager, Aldo Mira, I give you, it is rising a super middleweight sensation. I give you Armando Resendez. Uh Armando, let's start off here with, I know you, you were planning for a fight a while back in early spring, uh, summer, that fell through. How happy are you that you're finally back in the ring and that this long layoff is hopefully over? Eh, hola, Armando. Eh, sí. eh, sabía que ibas a regresar en el, al ring en, en la primavera y, y peleaste. Y que tan feliz estás de, de volver a pelear ahora en septiembre 5 y que se acabó la espera. No, contento, contento. Trabajando en eso y, y nos sentimos listos. Uh, I'm happy, very happy. I'm working hard and I feel ready. What happened the last time out? The last time we, we spoke... You were supposed to fight Alantes Fox. It was basically almost all but announced. What happened? Was it COVID? Was it just something fell through? Uh, what made made it go from, well, you're ready to fight to, okay, yeah, this fell through and we have no idea what the hell happened. Okay, uh, estábamos esperando que pelearas con Alantes Fox y uh -huh. qué fue lo que pasó con por el COVID y cambiaron de rival y, y qué fue lo que pasó. Sí, bueno, yo pienso que... Eh... Mi promotor puede responder mejor esa esa pregunta, pero creo que los temas ahí son por el COVID. Yes, uh, yes, we were way, we were expecting to face uh, Aliante uh, Fox, but during the COVID uh, emergency that we had, uh, Aliante was uh, ready to, to take that fight at that time. Um, Armando or neither, because Armando had COVID, so we got to uh, change the opponent and he faced uh, Kilisto Madera. And now uh, we are looking for to move forward with him and put him against a, a better opposition like uh, Mark Anthony Fernandez. How much do you enjoy this kind of fight where, say what you want about Hernandez, he's he is all action. He comes to fight. He's going to be right in front of you. There's nothing tricky about him. There's not going to be any sort of stalling tactics. He's a guy who... For whatever reason, he likes to just stand and bang, and he wants to turn this into a brawl. Armando, ¿qué sí. crees que va a pasar en esta pelea ahora con Mark Anthony Hernández, que es un tipo que no tiene ningún truco, no tiene nada escondido, un tipo que viene de frente a fajarse contigo ahí y que le gusta fajarse? ¿Qué, qué crees que va, que, que va a pasar? Oh, creo yo, yo creo que va a ser una, una buena pelea, se va, se va a dar bien. Eh, yo creo que el que más va a ganar aquí va a ser el público porque van a tener un, un, un buen espectáculo. Lo, eh, yo voy a salir a, a hacer mi boxeo, a hacer lo mío, a hacer mi trabajo y, y a buscar meter las manos duras. Um, I think it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a tough fight. Like you say, he, he likes to fight. He likes to throw punches. And I'm going to go there and I'll put my, 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 my style and I'm going to make my boxing skills to to make the difference in this uh, fight. But I think the major winner is going to be the fans that are going to uh, uh, watch a really entertaining fight. We've seen Hernandez in a lot of fights, and it's a lot of pressure. He, he's, he is literally on you from the opening bell to the last, to the last bell, where there's just constant pressure in his wins. He usually overwhelms people. Uh, how do you prepare for that? How do you prepare for a guy who just literally likes to just get right in front of you, overwhelm you, and basically suffocate you with just constant pressure, constant punches, and make you start, you know, getting overwhelmed by all the just action that he's throwing at you? Armando, ¿cómo te preparas tú para pelear con un tipo así que, que, que trae bastante acción y que se viene a parar ahí de frente? que lo hemos visto ya varias veces y cómo haces tú para prepararte para pelear con un tipo así? 
No, yo, yo me preparo bien, siempre me preparo fuerte, como si voy a pelear contra el campeón del mundo, como que si voy con Canelo, que le van, o una gente eh, muy, muy, muy grande. Eh, aquí no hay rivales pequeños, yo siempre tengo eso en la mente. Aquí cualquier persona puede meter un golpe y siempre hay que estar listo para eso, aprendiendo de, todos los, eh, de todas las personas que están a mi alrededor y, y enfocado, enfocado y con hambre de triunfo. Uh, every time I go to the ring, I, I go very well prepared. I, I, I made my camps like I'm going to fight for a world title each fight. And I've been having a great camp with Khaled Plan on, on this, uh, for this fight. And I make, I've been sparring Khaled Plan. I've been sparring uh, Carlos Adame. And uh, that's been a, a, a lot of help for me. And I think we're going to make a great fight, but I think I'm going to win this fight uh, probably by the way of knockout. Take me to that. I mean, as you mentioned, you just, you know, Carlos Sadame, Canelo, Plant, Canelo, uh, I'm sorry, Caleb Plant, those are two guys you sparred with. Take me to the, the plant sparring. How much did you learn in terms of just how to put things together, whether it's the way Caleb Plant gets his, uh, his sparring camp done, the way he gets things taken care of with, you know, whether, you know, doing um, a whole training, you know, all this stuff. Did you think, what did you learn when you were sparring with him in terms of just how to run your own professional camp? Okay. Como, co, ¿Cuánto has aprendido de estos campos de entrenamiento y de estos sparring que has hecho con cada plan? ¿Qué, ha, qué, ha, ¿Qué te ha servido cuando tú vayas a hacer tu propio campo de entrenamiento? ¿Cuánto has aprendido de esto? Eh, bastante. Creo que he aprendido mucho. Eh, he visto eh, cosas nuevas. Eh, he tratado de absorber lo más que pueda. Y creo que todo esto me va a servir eh, a futuro, a largo y a corto plazo. Y estoy muy contento. Creo que esta vez llevamos una, una preparación muy buena, una muy buena base y nada más es ahora eh, finalizar para llegar bien a la pelea. Ok. Um, uh, he, he's been touching me. He's been uh, taught me a lot. Um, it works for me, but for when I get uh, my own uh, title fight, And I know already how to do sparring with the world champions that move like him. And um, this will work for me in the future as well in the bigger fight. How much did you, how much was that camp also beneficial in that? It, it kept you busy because most fighters hate being on the sidelines and doing nothing. You know, all of a sudden you start putting on weight, you start putting on, you know, just food because you're not doing anything there's no fight coming up for you how much do you enjoy the fact that you know hey i'm in camp i'm doing something it's better than just sitting around and basically waiting for the phone to call and go okay well what the hell am i gonna do so armando has estado entretenido has estado ocupado no está sentado en la casa como esas veces que uno se sienta y sabes se pone a comer y y esta vez sabes que vas a pelear y, y, y te ha servido para prepararte. ¿Cuán bien te ha hecho eso en la preparación? Que saber que vas a estar activo, que, está, que vas a pelear si el día 5. Ajá, no, eh, bastante, bastante, bastante bien ha sido para mí. Eh, saber eh, que voy a una pelea, una pelea buena, así es, no, no estoy sentado, no estoy eh, acostado en la cama, yo estoy trabajando, eh, aprendiendo de día a día y preparándome y enfocándome bastante en mi, en mi pelea. I've been very focused in this uh, boxing camp and I learned a lot. Um, I think uh, this is the best training camp I ever had. And it's not like you say, been sitting there and wait for a call. I knew I was going to fight on September 5th. And that's why I get a lot better. So I think the fans going to be my best version right now. And I think... Uh, I'm ready for bigger things. How excited are you also just about literally fighting in front of a crowd, you know, having people literally just there for you where, you know, I know when you last time you fought out, it was the Shrine Exposition Center in Los Angeles. 
there's no fans, nobody hears you, nothing's going, you know, it's basically just still you in a studio. How much are you going to look at, you know, enjoy the fact that, hey, there's going to be fans there. There's going to be an atmosphere, you know, people will be cheering, something that I know a lot of fighters have just missed of having that normalcy. Armando, ¿cómo se siente saber que vas a pelear ahora donde hay público, donde hay gente que está contenta, que están eh, celebrando, brindando, y saber que, que muchos boxeadores anhelan esa pelear en esa situación donde hay fanáticos y tú vas a hacerlo por primera vez en los Estados Unidos? ¿Cómo se siente eso? Uh, contento, muy contento, la verdad que eh, yo soy muy contento por brindarle la pelea a la, a la gente. Estoy contento de que va a poder estar mi familia, mi gente y gente de México que también va a ir a apoyarme y yo estoy muy contento, bastante motivado con eso. I feel very happy, very motivated with this, uh, that my, with the fact that my family will be there and there will be a lot of Mexican uh, fans watching me and I, I'm very happy to bring this fight and put this, this show together. It all comes down, as I said, once again to... September 5th, you, Marcos Hernandez, uh, it's a big step up. He's a guy who beats, you know, quality fighters. He's a guy who breaks people at will. For you, how much is this about not just, you know, winning, but showing, okay, I can go a full 12 rounds and deal with the guy who's in my face. I can, you know, go the distance if I have to against a guy who, you know, even though I can't knock him out, I'm not going to get frustrated. But I'm not going to get worried. I'm going to beat this guy no matter what. Ok, uh, ahora está dando un gran paso porque este oponente tiene eh, nombres buenos que la, la ha vencido y es algo importante lo que tú vas a hacer ahora, es enfrentar ese tipo de oposición que al menos si no lo puedes noquear, pues vamos a decir que no lo noquees, si vas 10 rounds con él es una gran experiencia para ti. Eh, ¿Cómo te sientes con eso? No, contento, yo me siento muy contento, yo creo que voy a salir a a disfrutar la pelea y pues eso es lo que queremos, cada vez ir enfrentando rivales más fuertes y es, es, es parte de, es parte de, es parte de esto. Ok, I think this part of the game, this is what I've been asking for, better opposition, better, better, better fighters in front of me and I'm just uh, relaxed, I'm enjoying what's happening and I'm going to put a show, that's what I'm focused on. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are proud to have on the show. I give you it is, once again, fighting September 5th, putting on his undefeated record on the line. I give you it is none other than Jose Armando Resendiz, Resendiz a.k.a. El Toro. Uh, before I let you go, Jose, where, sorry, Armando, where can fans check you out at? Where is the Twitter page, Instagram, the website? Where can fans hit you up at? Armando, antes de concluir, ¿dónde pudieran seguirte en, en Twitter, en Instagram y en esas cosas? ¿Cómo se llama tu cuenta de Ajá. Instagram ¿sabes? como Instagram como Toro guión bajo Resendis uno. Toro guión bajo. Toro guión bajo. Resendis. Toro line Resendis uno. Juan. Instagram y en Facebook Instagram, como Facebook. en Facebook como Armando Toro Resendiz Armando Toro Resendiz Facebook yeah. Yeah. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to have on the show. I give you it is Jose Armando El Toro Resendiz here fighting September 5th only PBC on Fox in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Check your time on local listings. More details when we come back. We got a lot more going on here. Only on it is last call. Last call with the alcohol. Only on the Blue Wire, Blue Wire Hustle. Last call YouTube channel. <laughs> 